previously. That's her late. Satan exposes Don Paolo, the evil scientist who was posing as Inspector Chelmy. His disguise now gone, Don Paolo escapes from the fire, leaving only his latex mask behind. Having outed the friend, or fiend, who tried to take their lives, Luke and Leighton set out to explore the tower. Welcome back to, uh, I'll have to examine the door. Welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Last time we solved a shit ton of puzzles and made our, and made our way back toward. Yep, you've solved at least 75 puzzles. All right then, go on in, Tala. This place gives me the creeps. Plus, it's all murky in here, and I can't see a thit. Oh, my. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, my head. Luke, are you alright, my boy? No injuries, I hope. Don't worry, Professor. I'm fine. And yourself? I think a good long bath later, Wolf. More importantly, where are we? The room is stuffed to the gills with curious machines. Never seen anything like them. What do you suppose they do? What in the world? Look over there on the wall, Professor. My word. There are views from all over town displayed here. They almost look like blueprints. I'm just looking at all the characters here. Why is... What's this? Almost every villager's name is on the wall. Professor, what if somebody's using this place to keep an eye on what's going on in St. Mystere? Look, there are stairs over there. Get out of here. This place gives me goosebumps. Yes, you're quite right, Luke. That's what the babies? Oh, what's this notebook? Find something interesting. I think so. This notebook looks like someone's been using it as a diary. A little longer now. Soon this village will complete the task it was designed for. I've waited so long for this day, but as it comes closer, I feel a little lonely. I hope that, at the very least, the young mistress finally finds happiness at the end of all this. This poor journal looks like it's been through a lot. The pages are terribly frayed. Where all the scraps of paper we found in the village came from here. What's this? You. So, uh, keep in mind, this guy is one we saw stuffing... Ramon into a bag, but it's not the evil guy, Don Paolo. <clears throat> you, you two again. What are you doing here? What are you up to? Just a moment, sir. What are you talking about? I knew it. You came here to steal my secrets, didn't you? Didn't you? Not quite done with me. I see right through you. I don't think I haven't been watching seen you two stiffing about every nook and cranny in town, getting in the way of my work. I've had it, so unless you want trouble, give me back number 38. Just calm yourself, sir. Just listen to what we have to say for a moment. 
We haven't intended to get in the way of your work. We are merely searching for the golden apple. Neither of us knows anything about this number 38 business. Oh. You just say the golden apple. Really here looking for the golden apple. Precisely. Do you know anything that could be of help to us? Hmm. That's how it is, eh? What you're looking for is on the top floor of the tower. Watch out. The puzzles in this tower are harder than are harder than a whole mess of diamond trip tip drills. I know they call you a puzzle master, but are you sure you have what it takes to solve them? Why would you go and tell us something like that? I bet you just want us set us up to walk right into some sort of trap. <laughs> what would I possibly gain from doing something like that? Not to mention it's my duty to guide those who seek the golden apple with their gold. The mischief maker snuck into the village and had me all confused. I think I figured things out now. The thing is how it's your duty and all. Mind pulling us in? What is Saint Mysterious' big secret? Right. My name is Bruno. I work for the Wine Hope. Sometime now I've managed Saint Mysterious from up here in the tower. Manage Saint Mysterious. You're the one who manages the life of the villagers, aren't you? What in the world are you two talking about? Surely you must have seen them too, Luke. You recall the cogs we found about the village, the list of names we saw in that room. All the villagers in Saint Mysteria are robots created by Bruno. What do you mean the villagers are all robots? In other words, the inhabitants of Saint Mysteria aren't human, but intricately constructed machines. They're robots, boy. I have to say, I'm astonished that anyone could build such an elaborate machines in this day and age. You're quite the engineer, sir. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, aren't you a sharp boy? Never imagined you'd figure out so much of the mystery by yourself. <coughs> wow, this is huge. <coughs> What do you mean, sir? Saint Mysteria isn't a real town, Luke. It was constructed by Bruno and the late Baron. How am I doing so far, Bruno? Right on the money. I still believe that one day an heir worthy of his fortune would come forward. He had me build this city and all who dwell within it to prepare for that day. And he hid his greatest treasure, the golden apple, away in the top floor of this tower. I was ordered to protect it with my life. Until the person arrives who can solve the puzzle of the golden apple, I will continue to protect it. Remarkable. I'm impressed at how far Baron Reinhold went to protect his treasure. Just any treasure, mind you. The golden apple was the Baron's most precious treasure. His daughter. Why go through with all this just to hide treasure? I built an entire village to protect it. Oh, whoops. Seems I've been a little loose slipped here. I've already said more than I should have. The answers you're looking for are waiting for you at the top of the tower. Go on then. Show me if you're the one who can solve the puzzle of Gordon Apple. Professor, look! The stairs are barred off! Ah, this must be one of the puzzles Bruno warned us about. It does look quite difficult. This is perfect timing, my boy. I'm in the mood for a puzzle with some meat to it. Get the ball out number four. For 70 Pika Rats! The shortest possible route involves 21 moves.
See. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm concentrating really hard. <laughs> There How does this sound? It's a lot more than 21 moves, but I don't care. God. Legion's <laughs> apprentice, save the day! Alright. Well done. Were you able to get the ball in the hole without shuffling too much back and forth? And to move the ball lots of times where it's the goal, don't worry. Figuring out how to get to the goal to the fewest moves possible is the interesting puzzle in itself. There we are. Come on, Luke. Let's press on. All oh, right, lead the way, Professor. Hey, Professor. Something has been on my mind for a while. Who? Hey, what is it, Luke? The crank for the bridge was stolen. It was sealed in the village along with Don Paolo. It could be just me, but I feel like this wasn't a coincidence. Somebody planned it, but who? 
<laughs> well, Luke, I don't have any direct evidence of it, but I'd wager that it was Bruno's. Bruno? But why in the world would Bruno do something like that? Part of the challenge, I assume. Remember what he said? It's his duty to show the way to those who speak through the But naturally, Bruno had no idea what kind of people would come to see us. Likely, he trapped us in the village to buy himself some time to evaluate who we were. He wanted to see if we were worthy of the secret. But that's terribly presumptuous of him, don't you think? How could he think either of us were bad people? He doesn't even know us. I don't think it's necessarily him thinking we're bad people, it's him making sure we aren't. There's a difference. <laughs> Who knows how Bruno saw it, Luke? I'm certain he was just being careful. After all, Don Paolo managed to stick in with us. Bruno probably had his hands full, and needed time to see what kind of people had entered the village. Hey, that reminds me. I wanted to ask about that, too. Luke, we really should get started here. He asked me for the next question while we're climbing. <clears throat> I how many floors there are. Another locked door. Who built this tower must enjoy watching people suffer. Well, my boy, I want to stand there and complain about it. No, give this puzzle to me. Magic Square. We're 60 Pika Rats. We're getting all kinds of Pika Rats now. We need to solve this Magic Square in order. Magic square is a set number of set of numbers organized in a square so that they that adding any string of three numbers that is a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal results in, or results in the same total. One and two have already been placed in the square for you. Complete the rest of the square to open the lock. They have to be this total. Like nine should go here or here. Start with here. So two plus eight plus four would have to no, because it's already thirteen. I don't know. That's 50. Yeah, the number can't be anything. Make this whole 16. Bad. Hi. Four here. Fourteen. That's already fourteen. God damn it. Fifteen. Nine, but I'm hearing nine is nine cannot be in the corner. 
mine absolutely cannot be in the corner. Take all of these back down. Nine has to be like here. That's where nine has to be. It should be with the two and the one, but it cannot afford to have a third direction. That'll just be too high. Three, that's fourteen. Four here, that's four. Seven, fourteen. Nine, so fourteen. Also nine. That's not it either. Fifteen. Five here. Nine. Six. Eight. Fifteen. Seven plus eight equals fifteen. Six plus Perfect. There we go. Boom. Yes. Excellent. These three numbers aligned horizon horizontally, vertically, or diagonally should match each other. These squares have been around for thousands of years. The earliest record of magic squares dates back to 150 B. China. I've got it. The door is open now. Good show, Lou. What was it you were asking me earlier? Holly is now. I wanted to know when Don Paolo snuck his way into the village. Seems like he followed us here. The only way to save the stairs through the drawbridge. Plus, I doubt Franco will let it. Obviously, evil character as Don Paolo. Yes, to be honest, I still haven't quite figured out how Don Paolo ended up. So, it seems that after he made his way in, he tried to stay at Beatrice. So that's the man who skipped out on his bill. I figures it was Don Paolo. That weasel did himself up to look like Inspector Chelby. Look into the mansion. Hold on, when did he kill Simon? We'll get to that in a moment. I'll just keep climbing. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, konnichiwa, amig konnichiwa amigos. That's gotta be my favorite line. Konnichiwa, amigo. So glad to see other people. I thought I'd be wondering forever. Hey, how did you get in here? There's no way you solved all those puzzles. Jane Pa. It just happened. Un momento. Wandering the sewers. Next thing I know, I'm here. I think if this isn't the local hotspot, my guidebook promised it would. I'll kill you. So where is it you'd like to go? You can go down these stairs. You can... Proper. Make sure you don't fall into the hole by the end. Ah, she, she. That should be enough information to get me there. May I ask one more favor? All this talk of stairs has reminded me of Naze. I know. Or Vanazzo, I know. Good for me, poor for me. Take the stairs. Only 30 people. You have business on the 8th floor of a 10-story building. 48 seconds to make your way from the 1st floor to the 4th. Keep moving at the same speed. How long will it take you? So this is a trick question. So it's supposed to lead you to believe that you made it halfway up. 48 seconds. That is not true. You climbed three stories. Meaning about 16 seconds for each. You have four more floors to go. So, it's actually going to be four more seconds.
that should do it. Every puzzle Easy. has an answer. Oh, the, the trick right away. Great, going from first to the fourth floor means you can climb a total of three flights of stairs. Going from the fourth floor to the eighth floor, you'll have to go up an additional four flights of stairs. Grazi, ready to head back to the village. What a strange valley. Fessa, do you suppose that man is human? I believe so. An odd one, though. Why am I speaking in the uh, American accent? Odd one, isn't it? Never seen an explorer with such a poor sense of direction. Stranger still is how he hit Miss Deer. I think even he knows. Perhaps his presence here. There was another reason. It held the height of prank. So I, I was doing him with my just regular voice. He has a ton of different languages. <coughs> Be weird using things things in a different or like in a British accent. I just figured I'd just voice. James will face with the, the puzzle lore. Oh, I meant to ask you, but a running with the explorer distracted me. How did Simon go? Okay. Only good time, my boy. First, we need to solve this puzzle here. I accidentally clicked or tapped before. Yeah. It's just in a box one. Tired of leading a sheltered life, Princess is trying to escape her castle. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Put the blocks out of the way to move the red one out the exit to the right. Freedom depends on you. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Um. Not that one.
purple one is a huge problem for me. Probably creaking. Okay.
to I can review down there. Who's Luke? Here's my answer. Gotcha. Every puzzle has an answer. Wonderful. Classic example of a sliding puzzle. I say no sliding puzzles. There we are. The door should open there. Amazing as always, Professor. Now, about Simon, what exactly happened in the mansion? Did Don Paolo really murder, um, big off with Simon? I say so. My theory, my I don't think that, uh, but I think that Don Paolo followed us. Adam. When you met Simon, came across him. I suspect Simon had already collapsed and Don Paolo found his body sprawled on it. Like with Ramon. Maybe Simon had also stopped functioning. Guess all the robots break down sooner or later. If they do, Bruno comes to collect them. He fixes them head. The basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds of Bruno's machines working? Think you're spot on, Luke. Why people began to associate senses with power. Don't forget that, despite his peculiar appearance, and Paolo is a scientific. Therefore, he probably realized why Simon had stopped moving. Point for the golden apple. Some Paolo likely would have left St. Mr. there right there. Though he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how it worked. That must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chelmy, right? That rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. That's not the whole mystery. Come on, dude. Let's keep moving. I'll explain the rest of you. Can we get another mystery solved? Own? Rumbling Tower and Ramon. Shouldn't noise also be kept? Or maybe noise and Rumbling Tower are set. Um, how did when did all we were in the basement? How on earth? Grand <laughs> shape. I'd like to try a puzzle one. How on earth did she get up here? I was overtaken us at some point. Funny, I didn't even see the old girl pass us. <laughs> Wish but function function. Puzzle one. I should have hummed. Hard order. Place one Joker and four aces with different suits based on on the hands below to determine the district. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. And this is my right. But yeah, based on. I didn't look at actually solve the puzzle. So the club is to the immediate right of the heart. Which, more than anything, tells us the club is not on the far left. Um, either the diamond nor. Joker fade. So the club, the heart, are next to the fade. 
The club must be between the heart. Wait. Neither Diamond nor the Joker. Only means the club in the heart. So therefore, I already got the start of the picture. Boom. 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 Neither the Joker nor the Diamond is club. What? The club is the immediate right of the heart, which neither the diamond nor the joker is next. Oh, unless... There. The diamond nor the spade. Next to the hearts, that made the joker go here. Boom. Luke, here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. Excellent. Only a strong grasp of the principle of logic was a one. That's the answer. Well then, guess I'll be off. Alright. <laughs> I guess she followed us in here. Like I thought, another puzzle locking the door. Really difficult. Luke, my boy, learn by now. No puzzle is about to know. Simply need to find what you like to answer. Here, yeah. allow me. Puzzle number 99. 33,300. Each of the numbers, 1 through 9, or use each of the numbers one through nine exactly once to fill in the blanks in this equation. Okay. So I feel like this start with four. One. A one and seven. Eight. I'm trying too hard. So I'm thinking, oh, minus nine, that'll duck this down by one. Oh, wait, no. Oh. About five minus six. We're gonna drop these. Start from scratch again. Assuming that this. None of these work for work with it either. down one day that 
makes it six. Scratch again. Okay, it starts with. I, I still feel like it's going to do. It's trying to do. Oh, make me want to create at the beginning. It actually, starts with a four. Duck me down, so this should be a seven. So this would be a nine. This should be that would be a ten. This would be a nine. I think I literally already. Except actually, this only equates to four. So actually, I should be nine here. Minus one up here, zero minus seven. Minus one up here. Three. Perfect. Luke, here's my answer. Let's Critical go. thinking is the key to success. It is. That's right. There are two correct configurations possible. They managed to figure out both. I assume the other one is where we just swapped those last two digits on both. Creativity and persistence. As long as you have these, no puzzles beyond your. Professor, I was just thinking. Do you remember that picture we found in Lady Dahlia's room? One of the Baron's late wife, Violet, holding a child who appears to be poor. Of course. So, uh, before he continues, my theory is that. Uh, Lady Dahlia, robot. Violet, the girl that's running, or not Violet, Flora is the girl running around. Hey, that part I think we all know. Um, but yeah, uh, Dahlia is just a robot of Violet. 
for is running around. Great one. That's the one. Don't care any how much Lady Violet looks like Lady Dahlia. Those Baron Reinhold's journal entries were talking about Lady Dahlia. Stop thinking, my boy. I believe it went something like this. The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. That's the one that tipped me off. Professor, the exposed Lady Dahlia is actually a robot built to resemble Lady Violet. Fairly possible. Even probable given the chances, something like that. So, a terribly sad story these entries tell. Remember what the next story entry said? Laura doesn't like the thing at all. She can have run away from it. Okay. Recently, since what time by dear Violet's grave then it failed. Sad to say, but I doubt Flora will ever take it. Can't blame her. I've changed. I felt terrible forcing that change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Elliot, there can never be another you. You were my first last. Byrne arranged for the construction of a robot for Flora that was identical. But living with a machine that was so similar to his wife, it been too much for him. Thus, he decided to change the robot's personality, so Lady Dahlia was as she was a original mother figure, must have gone through a confusing transition. Professor, do you suppose these robots feel sadness? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. I have a feeling that each of the robots has something not unlike a human. What do you think? I... I hope that they do. Maple. Also notice we've done 99 puzzles. We're so close to the end. Puzzle 100. This can't be like the last puzzle, right? Not exactly. A... Also, if there is, I'm screwed because I'm still missing 11 right now. After this one, 10. Assuming this is puzzle 100. I just assume based on the past few being 98 and you suppose we're near the top yet? Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle in our way before we get there. Number 100, 7 squares for 70 picarat. Task, oh god. The task is to draw lines between the pins and the board to form 7 squares. 7 squares do not have to be uniform in size, but they can only use each pin one. Why do you think? Hmm. 
across seven of them. I can't even get more than four. I feel like there's a trick involving me. I was gonna say, and technically I'm only using ones. Those don't count. Um, squares and here I right, made it to five Already a step up, but still not. Like those gotta be the best way you could possibly. Good.
five. This one. Still don't see it. Uh... And I can just flash one. Alright, perfect. Number 100 has been solved. Luke, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Right. Got all those tilted squares. It was pretty fun, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was super fun. I really I just wish I could do it all over again. Ready to keep climbing. You know, it's very odd how this tower is simply huge, and yet there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's room in the basement, the whole place is rather bare. That's why Bruno's machines make such a racket. The tower is like a giant mega bay. Why would anyone want to construct such a big, purposeless tower, Professor? It's exhausting to climb this thing. Ah, did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express purpose of exhausting it? Just another one of the many trials I set out for the seekers of the Golden Apple. Gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. Yeah. Now I was going to say the noise is soft. No. Lord doesn't appear to have any puzzles set up for us. If we climb the spiral staircase, maybe reach the top floor. You may be right, old boy. Come, let's hurry. Oh my gosh! Boss. Our view was obscured from the ground. Who would have suspected a charming cottage like this here? Look, the lights are on, Professor. It appears that someone is living here. Number nine, the tower's secret has been solved. Progress, okay. And that is going to be all for our, yeah, that's going to be all for this episode. <laughs> Sorry, it, it kicked me out. I didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, I guess is going to be the finale. It feels like it should be the finale. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.